Tomorrow, in person classes will continue as well as Friday. And then next week is spring break. Once spring break starts, they're asking any students going home for spring break to stay home for at least two weeks if possible and then begin their online instruction on March 23rd. Other major schools, like the University of Tampa, are also following suit. Coronavirus concerns now a major interruption for Florida universities. Today, we're directed by the Florida Board of Governors to begin transitioning all of our classes to remote instruction. The decision affects all 12 state universities, including the Florida Polytechnic and USF, as well as UF. This is a good decision, so we can just stay home, study as well as so we didn't we don't fall up like you know the classes. University leaders held a news conference Wednesday afternoon, just moments after the university system's board of governors decided to move instruction online. The move comes after other major universities like Ohio State announced this week they're also moving to online instruction. There's a lot of information coming in by the by not only by the hour, by the minute, and so we are following uh, state guidelines, uh, centers for disease control guidelines and trying to make informed decisions that will ensure that our students are safe. Along with in-person classes, all campus events scheduled within the next 30 days will be postponed. Not only USF, but the University of Tampa is also taking steps to move courses online. In a statement, a UT spokesperson says in part, quote, Though we recognize that UT's rich educational environment is one of its greatest assets, we also consider the campus community's health and safety as a top priority. Going on to say, this is an extraordinary situation, and we have decided to move from face-to-face -face instruction to online delivery. Now, both the University of Tampa and USF say students who live in the dorms can remain in the dorms if they'd like. Now, here at USF, services like dining, health, and administration will continue as normal. Now, as of right now, there's no cases of coronavirus reported here at USF, but there is a group of about a dozen students and faculty who return from countries the CDC considers high risk. The school says they're closely monitoring them, but so far, none of them are showing any symptoms of the coronavirus.